Hi, I'm Marion van der Heuvel from the Merrill Palmer Skillman Institute at Wayne State University in Detroit, Michigan. In this video abstract, I will provide a brief overview of one of our studies that recently got published in Developmental Science. The aim of our study was to investigate the effect of maternal anxiety during pregnancy on children's effective picture processing using EEG measurements. Previous research has shown a strong association between maternal anxiety during pregnancy and emotion regulation in childhood. However, the underlying mechanisms of this association are largely unknown. This investigation is therefore of great importance to the field of developmental programming because it may provide us insights into functional brain alterations of children prenatally exposed to maternal stress and may therefore help us to better understand the underlying mechanisms of this association. During the laboratory visit, child effective picture processing was measured in 86 children by recording event-related potentials during passive viewing of effective pictures and children would watch 30 neutral pictures such as everyday objects and nature scenes they will watch 30 pleasant pictures such as happy children happy scenes and candy and they would watch 30 unpleasant pictures which are pictures of scary animals and threatening scenes all of these pictures were randomly presented to the child and after the task children would get a sticker for their sticker diploma Regarding event-related potentials, we were interested in the late positive potential, which is an ERP component that reflects individual differences in processing emotions. We expected that children's effective picture processing would be altered due to prenatal exposure to maternal anxiety, and especially in unpleasant pictures. Surprisingly, we found positive associations between maternal anxiety during pregnancy and the late positive potential for neutral pictures and not for unpleasant pictures. Possibly, children that are exposed to maternal anxiety during pregnancy show enhanced vigilance for threat when viewing neutral pictures. This is actually perfectly in line with research that reported that vulnerability to anxiety is primarily related to a lower threshold for threat, such as showing a threat response um, to neutral pictures or harmless pictures, rather than attentional bias for threatening stimuli. While this enhanced vigilance could be very useful in dangerous environments, it could also predispose these children to developing developmental and emotional problems later in life. Our study is the first to provide neurophysiological evidence that children prenatally exposed to maternal anxiety devote more attentional resources to neutral pictures. These results emphasize the need for quality care for women that struggle with mental health issues during pregnancy. Also, based on our findings, we want to encourage caution when using neutral stimuli in pediatric samples. Neutral stimuli may not be viewed as completely neutral for some children, especially those children that were exposed to adversity early in life. Thank you for watching our video and I hope that you will enjoy reading our paper.